it's in order? Oh, it doesn't know how to eat. Oh, it's dumb. This is like how we all see Betty White, I feel like. <laughs> What are your thoughts on Instagram? Instagram, I love Instagram. I use it every day. I mean, sometimes it can be annoying because it like takes your whole day and you could just like drown in it and then you're like, what have I done with the last hour of my life, you know? Instagram is probably my favorite social media platform. It kind of feels like one of the hubs for like social media. So we're gonna be showing you 10 accounts that you might wanna follow being a mix of interesting art, cool people, or just content to kind of make you laugh or feel good when you're scrolling through your feed. Okay, I could be into that. I'm kind of like, especially now that everyone's spending a little bit more time on their phones, probably. I'm excited. I wanna I wanna follow some. Murad Ozman. Oh, is this one of the travel accounts? Oh, this is like probably the, uh, the original like hand-holding person, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've definitely seen their Instagram account. I don't think that I follow them, but I know the trend. Yeah, I've seen that those pictures are amazing. They're so pretty. Um, and it's just like, it's mind blowing, like the, the backgrounds and everything, like the colors, the oh, it all looks so, so beautiful together. I love it. This is the Instagram account of Russian photographer Murad Osman, who him and his wife started the Follow Me series in 2012, which went viral. So they're the ones who started that whole like hand pose thing. Okay, but if they started it, I'll let them have it. Cause then, you know what, that's that's pretty cool. They <laughs> actually are still traveling the world together and that's they have cool. actually been named as one of the top travel influencers by Forbes. That's insane. Well, yeah, with like photos as crazy as this. How, how couldn't you be so influential? That's pretty cool that they've been doing this for so long and like able to find all these new places and still make it really interesting visually and like be able to just keep this lifestyle going. I think that's really aspirational for a lot of people, especially now. When I booked a role as a club scene extra in the new Blade Trilogy reboot, my whole fam showed up to set in costume to support. Is he really a Jenner? Is this like the weirdest Mandela effect? Who is he? Does he just like input himself into Kardashian photos and Jenner photos, I guess, um, and like make himself seem like he's part of their family? <laughs> like... <laughs> you are right on the money. This is Kirby Jenner, who's known for his account where he poses as Kendall Jenner's fraternal twin. Oh, no way. And he's even received nominations for Webby and Shorty Awards and Social Humor, Best Photography, and Best Parody Count for his Instagram page. As he should. That is a great idea. That is hilarious. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I would follow it just because I don't know if I could handle having the Kardashians on my timeline every day. See, the thing that's so weird about Instagram or like interesting to me is like this person has probably a crazy amount of followers. They have 100,000 likes just on this picture from two years ago. And it's like, I've never seen one of their Instagram posts. Batty Winkle, another member of the Jenner clan, it looks like. Oh, I've heard of her. I've heard of her. She's an honorary member of Gen Z. This is like how we all see Betty White, I feel like. <laughs> Just like the legend grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Brazil got the finest man. <laughs> She's like, I don't care. I'm hanging out with my coconut and these coconuts and I'm having a great time. So this is Helen Ruth Ellum, who's better known as Batty Winkle online. And it wasn't until she was 85 that she became an internet celebrity with her social media tagline being stealing your man since 1928. Oh my gosh, 1928. That is crazy. It's like, not only does it make me happy that like an older person is gonna like take up Instagram like that and she's just gonna like rule the Instagram world, but also that an older person like her like has the fashion sense that she does and she's just so bold and so fun. Banksy. I didn't know that Banksy had an Instagram even. Banksy? Wow, that is beautiful. I, I still don't understand how somebody can get away with, you know, making works of art, I guess in the middle of the night and nobody has ever seen him which is crazy. No one knows who he is. And now it's going online is really fascinating because you'd think that people are now gonna like try and track him online, like find his location. <laughs> Didn't he like burn this painting? Tread the painting, tread the, yes! Now it's art! <gasps> what an insane moment. Uh, everyone's like, uh... That's how you do it when you're alternative. 
just shred it all and say good luck to everyone. What just happened? I'm so confused. Was that like a part of it? Was that supposed to happen? This is the account for the famous street artist Banksy. And since he's an artist with a hidden identity, he typically uses Instagram and social media to kind of share all of his latest works. Right. I think Instagram is such a tool for artists. I would literally have no idea who any of these people were or how they did these things. And it's really cool that you can like watch it and kind of be a part of it. So many people think like, well, if he were to reveal himself right now, he would have millions of dollars. He would have unlimited fame, which is what so many people want. And the fact that he's chosen not to, to have that kind of, you know, that glimmer of fame, but not in your personal life, just for your work is, it's, it's very aspirational. Juniper Fox. I get it and I love it. I'm in, Alrighty. <laughs> oh, it's a fox. Oh, How cute. Okay, I follow like a bajillion dog accounts, but I have to say I do not follow a fox account yet. So I think that this one will be my first one. <laughs> if you want to pretend to own a pet fox, you can follow the Instagram account in Juniper Fox which shows the lives of Juniper and Fig, which are two North American red foxes that live with oh, wow. other pet siblings, uh, which is an Australian Shepherd Malamute mix, two sugar <laughs> gliders, a cat and more. How awesome. I'm not a huge fan of the idea of exotic pets because I don't really necessarily think they're supposed to be a pet. Like I get if you see them in nature and then you like show them, then that's great. But then you might as well just be like Joe Exotic if you just collect all these animals. <laughs> like probably shouldn't be in your home or near your children. <laughs> that's all I can say. Tank's good news. My grandma who was in isolation accidentally dialed a wrong phone number yesterday. And spoke to a random lady also isolating for 20 minutes about her life. They've exchanged numbers so they can keep in contact and meet up once this is all over. I think that's just lovely. My heart! <laughs> How cute! They're probably gonna be best friends now. Like, or maybe she'll have like her new adopted adopted like sibling or friend or granddaughter or something like that. It's amazing. Do you need good news? I feel like everything's filled with like drama or like like bad news. You need good news. Just so that like, you know, everything isn't so grim. It's nice to have a little a little uh a little shine of light. Sweet days dessert. Oh my god, that looks like way too much. Bomb, what is that? cake on top of a drink <laughs> see this is also interesting because it's all like food that's designed to be very aesthetically pleasing because it's for instagram oh see yum i like food accounts but then at the same time i'm like what does like half of this stuff taste like though so these delicious photos come from sweet days dessert bar in richardson texas and as you can see they post mouth-watering dessert pictures that are just like perfect for Instagram. That's, yeah, totally, totally. I'd want to take a photo of that, yeah. Well, Texans know how to do big food very well and very delicious and very sugary. So there you go. That makes sense. <laughs> ah, Takashi Pop. Yes, yes, yes. He is a crazy sick artist. Super weird, super out there. He's done a lot of like work with like celebrities. Oh my God, look at that outfit. I can't pull that off. I'm sorry. I mean, I had to, it took me five minutes to consider this purple shirt. I was like, am I gonna wear purple on this? This guy's like, I, I'm i wearing everything, man. It's cool. It's I think um, uh, fashion is a way where you can express yourself. And so like these look really colorful and I, I love it. They're like little, like, they look like little anime costumes. Very famous. Like, I think they've been, they've done a ton of collaborations with designers and like well known, probably like makeup stuff too. Oh, Billie Eilish, already a good choice. Yeah, I've seen this. That's cool. I didn't know he made that. Oh! Ah! Wow. Oh, I thought it was going to be cute. This is very dark. <laughs> Oh, this is crazy. How have I never seen this video? Am I living under a rock? Wow, I have no idea what just happened. I don't understand how people even like think of these visuals, let alone create them. I don't usually watch this kind of stuff to be quite honest, but like when you see the design elements and like how many layers go in, it's pretty incredible. The Takashi Palm is the Instagram account for the contemporary Japanese artist Takashi Murakami and 
He's often known for both his works in fine art as well as commercial media. Right, um, right. And he's worked with, as you said, many celebrities like that video that you just saw with Billie Eilish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's cool. I've always been really interested in his stuff from like back when I first saw the Kanye West's graduation like cover. I was like, wow, that's so cool. It's cool that he's like brought it from just like being this interesting different thing he does to being something that applies to other people in the world and artists nowadays. It's like fusing different people's creativity. It's nice. Humans of New York, yes, they follow this one. Finally, one I actually follow. He hates when I tell this story, but he saw me for the first time in Home Depot and he was too afraid to talk to me. So he got my name from a friend and sent me a message on social media. In the weeks after my cancer diagnosis, I kept noticing that he'd sit in his car after pulling into the driveway. I'd hear the music turn off, but he'd take several minutes to come inside. So one day I walked out and found him crying and praying. He was trying to get it all out so he could be strong when he came inside. He still looks at me the exact same way that he did when he walked down the aisle. Oh my God, how do they find these people? I never understood how he got people just to open up their deepest, darkest memories or secrets or facts about themselves just how he suddenly just gets them to share that, presumably on the street corner. This account is like gold. It's a gold mine. Like all the stories, you never know what you're gonna get. They're not all like happy stories. Sometimes they're sad or sometimes they're like mysterious, but every single one I'm like, that's amazing. I feel like definitely there's a thing with humans in general where like when someone else is experiencing something, you're like, okay, okay, so I'm not alone. I think that's like a very like, uplifting thing to read. Oh, it's in order! Oh, it doesn't know how to eat! Oh, it's dumb! As a baby otter. Look at it! I love it! Oh my gosh. What is he eating? Is that salmon that he's eating? Why is he in someone's house, first of all? But like, why are you so cute? Otters are by far the most visually pleasing animal. They're so adorable. That get count is the best. Like nothing can make you feel better than funny animal videos. It's, there's nothing like it. So lastly, we have the account animals doing things, which is exactly what it sounds like. And who doesn't want cute animals in their Instagram feed? Who doesn't? You'd be weird if you didn't. They make you so happy. <laughs> I, I, maybe I take the world too seriously and I need to, <laughs> I need to start following animal accounts, just animals doing things, why not? Honestly, I need to like follow more people on Instagram. I think it's like fun like every now and then to just find a new people to be inspired by. And I think it's just so cool that a platform allows us all to connect with one another and like see all these different things. So now after looking at all of those Instagram pages, what do you think makes a good Instagram account worth following? I mean, I think for me, it's just, it, I think a lot of it's subjective. A lot of it is just kind of, you know, how much it, it connects to that person that's looking at the post on the page. Maybe something that can make you laugh, something that others can look forward to, whether it be um, art or maybe comedy or maybe just something like really feel good and wholesome. Just something that keeps people coming back and like wanting to check your next post. What makes the best Instagram account is um, not only just comedy, but honesty. I think if you can blend the two of those and show like the real aspects of life, but also make something fun of it, as long as you have you know, multiple things that appeal to multiple people, but keep it human. That's all that matters. Thanks for watching this episode of Adults React. Bye. Hey everyone, Lauren Producer here at FBE. Thank you all so much for watching this episode, even if it looks a little bit different than what you guys are used to. We're trying everything we can to keep making content while we're all working from home. So we really appreciate all your support and you can come say hi to us on Instagram at FBE. Bye.